the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. A telephone call was held yesterday between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Jordanian monarch King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein. The two sides discussed bilateral relations and means of enhancing them, as well as the latest regional developments. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the newly appointed Executive Director of the Middle East of International Institute for Strategic Studies, IISS, Lieutenant General Tom Beckett at Gbaybia Palace. The Deputy King welcomed the appointment of Lieutenant General Beckett and wished him success in his new role. The Deputy King underlined IISS's growing regional status, noting that the IISS Manama Dialogue has served as a nexus for regional security discourse for over 10 years and continues to provide a unique platform for multilateral natural engagement and private diplomacy in resolving the conflicts. The Deputy King concluded by recognizing IISS's contribution to research and analysis on critical regional and international issues and highlighted the Kingdom's continuous commitment to providing strategic and logistical support to regional and international allies engaged in peacekeeping activities. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa today met at Glebia Palace with the U.S. Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Justin Sibarel, and the former U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, William Robach. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing strategic ties between Bahrain and the United States of America, which are reflected in extensive bilateral cooperation across various areas. He highlighted the U.S.'s efforts in strengthening and coordinating international cooperation across a number of issues, noting in particular its role preserving regional security and stability. The the meeting provided an opportunity to review regional and international issues of mutual concern. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Glebia Palace members of the royal family and senior state officials where he exchanged with them talks on a number of local affairs. The Premier expressed the government's keenness to follow up on the citizens' needs for facilities and services, noting the development of the kingdom in the fields of health, housing, education and infrastructure. He added that the development march led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa aims to enhance the living standards of the citizens. His Royal Highness added that the government focuses on speeding up the implementation of all projects across the kingdom. He also congratulated the people of the kingdom on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Royal Highness noted and hailed the patriotism of the people of Bahrain. He also highlighted the importance of preserving the rich heritage of the kingdom, recalling the traditional sports of hunting, for which the kingdom has been known for for centuries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Glebia Palace the National Bank of Bahrain's Chairman and new Board of Directors headed by Farooq Al Mu'ayyad in which His Royal Highness congratulated them on their election, wishing them success in serving the national economy. His Royal Highness praised the contributions and initiatives of the private sector in the field of charitable and social work, which establishes the foundations for community partnership and the development process. The Prime Minister commended the role of NBB and its contributions in advancing economic growth in the Kingdom and noted its role 
in an initiative in the charitable and social works. He also hailed the NBB's initiative to build a modern and integrated health center in Khalifa City in the southern province, highlighting that embodies a model of social responsibility which contributes to the development of Bahrain and providing services to the citizens. Israel Han has highlighted the important role of banks and financial institutions in advancing development across enhancing investment environments. He also noted that banks are one of the national economy's main pillars, stressing the government's keenness to provide a regulatory and legislative environment that ensures its development and success. The Premier commended the existing partnership between the government and the private sector and its role in providing more services that meet the aspirations of citizens in all fields, especially in the health sector. He affirmed that the government is expanding health projects and is keen on providing the latest medical devices to develop the health sector to maintain the quality and efficiency of health and treatment services for citizens and residents. His Rohan has directed all ministries and concerned authorities to follow up on the implementation of the new health center in coordination with NBB. For their part, the chairman and board of directors of NBB praised the support of His Rohanis to the banking sector and thanked him for his efforts in supporting the sector which aided Bahrain in achieving an advanced status regionally and globally. They noted the bank's initiative to establish a health center in Khalifa City comes in light of the participation of the private sector with the public sector in the development of the society and in line with the government's directives to the develop the health sector and provide health services to citizens in all areas. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary President of the Bahrain Disabled Sports Federation, Izhan al-Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al-Khalifa affirmed that the goals of the Khalid bin Hamad Futsal League are in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa that aims to increase youth programs and activities that contribute to developing their skills in all fields, including the youth and sports sector. On the occasion of the announcement of the start of the Khalid bin Hamad Futsal League for youth centers, national clubs, people with disabilities, girls, ministries and communities. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that the league has been successful in attracting Bahraini youth to participate in the sport since its launch. He highlighted the development of the league, stating that it is one of the most prominent local futsal leagues and noting the wide participation of Bahraini youth. His Highness added that the success of the league was due to the support of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, led by Hisham bin Mohammed al Jodan. The league's organizing committee had held a press conference to reveal the details of the league. A press conference was held by the media office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa to announce and discuss the 2018 Khalid bin Hamad Futsal League. The league has witnessed a remarkable development in the level of participation over the years. 16 teams participated in the first edition of the league, while 83 teams are currently enrolled for this year's version in a record high. Actually, in this edition, the new one will be the sixth edition for this uh, championship. I think we have a high number, bigger number than the last one, the last fifth one. When we have uh, 59 uh, teams. This time we have more, we have about 83, and we have also six leagues in, this, in the whole our general league. Uh, we have a new league also. We have the other nationalities in Bahrain, and also we have a league special also for the ministries. 
plus we have, you know, for the youth centers and the clubs and also for the girls and for the disabled. But now this edition, I think, a huge jump in the figure of the participation in this league. I think we will jump nearly 2,000 maybe uh, people will be participate on this championship. The director of the league stressed that its success depends on the cooperation of all the organizations involved and their work in the spirit of one team, especially with the big jump in the number of participants this year. 168 matches are expected to be held throughout and this year the competitions committee was created to serve as the main engine for all competitions that will be held within the league and will work in cooperation with all the committees in order to make the league a success. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shok Mohammed. The first artificial intelligence competition kicked off yesterday, organized by Temkin and Microsoft, and in partnership with the media office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. More on this report with Mohammed Youssef. Start scanning. The world as we know it is changing rapidly, which is why we need to come up with innovative projects that turn dreams into realities and help us build a brighter future. The Artificial Intelligence Competition is one of the initiatives launched by His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa that contributes to enhancing the business sector as well as achieving sustainable development goals. The purpose of this event is to allow students from high school and uh, universities to participate in a competition uh, to allow them to uh, innovate in artificial intelligence. And we've seen many examples of uh, uh, some of the uh, tools that they've been working with from Microsoft. Some of the innovations are going to be helpful for uh, the disabled. They're going to be uh, really um, used in, in, in a practical manner. Well, we thank His Highness Sheikh Khal for supporting and patroning this event. His support has really helped uh, a lot in terms of uh, gathering all the companies to participate and students as well. At the same time, we thank him for uh, inaugurating this event to be on an annual basis, which will allow other participants who didn't participate this year to encourage them to come and participate next year. And we hope to see bigger numbers in the future. Well, this event here is all about uh, creating skills in Bahrainis. So it's about cloud computing and about artificial intelligence now. All the private uh, companies here in Bahrain and uh, public sector entities need um, graduates with skills in this area. So cloud computing with the new Bahrain cloud first policy, this means that all of the IT projects will be on the cloud in the future so on, uh, on a platform like Microsoft Azure. So this competition is all about um, upskilling Bahrainis and training them for jobs in the future. Enhancing innovation is essential in creating a scientific base of students who will help attract international companies to invest in the kingdom. Um, we are very honored uh, at Microsoft uh, to be part of this initiative. Uh, with uh, His uh, Highness uh, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid um, uh, on the AI uh, for students. Uh, it, it will build a very strong platform for our students in Bahrain uh, in the future. How would they build the future? And that's the main purpose of, of, of this initiative. The competition was able to create the spirit of competition among students and help them to perform high levels of performance through a number of workshops provided by experts from Microsoft that allowed the students to deliver significant projects. Uh, this event is actually it's uh, like a festival to celebrate innovation and creativity uh, for university students and school students to find the best projects that are developing um, ideas in the AI or machine learning or Internet of Things projects and support them, give them the training, give them the exposure they need and select the best ones of them to give them the awards uh, today and celebrate their success. Basically, our project is an assistant for Al-Hikma International School website. It provides the users with the main services that the school provides, such as the school profile from vision and vision and all of these things, and the registration documents and so on. We are very proud and honored, excited, uh, really no feeling about winning this project. Um, we're very happy to have won this and participated with the Artificial Intelligence Hackfest. 
thanks to His Highness Sheikh Khalid, the initiative plays a vital role in achieving sustainable development and comes in accordance with the Kingdom's vision of 2030. This initiative focuses on artificial intelligence and innovation, which is a perfect method to achieving sustainable development and open up new horizons for various sectors in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. His Royal uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa yesterday deputized his advisor Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to attend the ceremony organized by the Ambassador of the Italian Republic Domenico Bellato, marking the National Day of his country in the presence of diplomatic figures and invited guests. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa conveyed the greetings of His Royal the Prime Minister to the leadership and people of Italy and his wishes of progress and development for the country and its people. He stressed the depth of bilateral relations and the development witnessed in various fields, noting Bahrain's keenness to expand bilateral cooperation to serve the common interests of both countries. The ambassador expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness for his interest in developing relations of cooperation and friendship between the two countries, praising the development witnessed by Bahrain in various sectors. The National Information Committee, NIC, led by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohamed Lamtawa, held a meeting today with a Sustainable Development Directorate at the UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs on DESA, led by Saras Jagwant in the presence of the resident representative of the United Nations Development Program, the UNDP, and UN Resident Coordinator, Amin Shargawi, to discuss the review, the technical support and cooperation provided by the UN to contribute to the preparation of the first national voluntary report in the Kingdom to implement the goals of sustainable development. Development 2030. The minister hailed the cooperation between the Kingdom and UN and its specialized agencies, affirming the Kingdom's keenness on activating various cooperation fields with international organizations to achieve its goals of advancing development efforts. He affirmed that Bahrain is keen on preparing the National Voluntary Report, noting that the specialized work team has completed the report's initial draft and is currently taking into consideration the proposals of concerned authorities and their visions on the report. He added that the Kingdom places the achievement of sustainable development goals at the top of the government's works agenda. For his part, the Under Secretary for International Affairs and member of NIC, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, reviewed the Kingdom's endeavors to advance international efforts in the field of sustainable development, asserting that Bahrain is considered one of the top countries that adopt the institutional arrangements to ensure the follow up to the implementation of Sustainable Development Goals 2030. For her part, Mrs. Jagwan expressed thanks and appreciation to the government for its cooperation and welcoming of knowledge exchange in preparing the report. She delivered a presentation on the mechanism by which countries review their national reports at the UN High-Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development, stressing the importance of the participation of all authorities to take effective institutional measures to achieve the goals of Sustainable Development 2030. For his part, the resident representative of the UNDP asserted that the UN is keen on including further sustainable development goals in the government work plans for the upcoming years. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jameel bin Mohammed Hamidan, lauded the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to increase the disbursement of social assistance allowances and the financial subsidy that is paid for people with disabilities for the occasion of the month of Ramadan. These directives aim for easing the living costs of Bahraini families with low income in the framework of continually providing a decent living standard for citizens. Hamidan added that these directives reflect His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's humanitarian efforts towards all people, mainly low income families. 
The Labour Minister continued to state that this falls under the human and financial comprehensive development launched by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa as part of His Majesty's reform project. He said the financial transactions will be in the beneficiaries' accounts by the 15th of the current month, adding that the number of Social Security beneficiaries is around 16,000 families and individuals as defined by law number 18 of 2008. The Minister explained that 3 million dinars will be transferred to their bank accounts for the month of Ramadan instead of the normal amounts of 1.5 million dinars as this will help to double the amount of aid before the start of the holy month. And in regards to disability allowances, Hamidan said the amount that is paid to its beneficiaries at a value of 100 dinars per month will be doubled to 200 dinars for this month in accordance with Ministerial Decision Number 24 for the year 2008 regarding the eligibility criteria for persons with disabilities. He noted that the number of beneficiaries from the disability allowance is approximately 11,000 citizens. For this occasion, the minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal the Premier Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal uh, Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their care and keenness to continually provide a decent living standard for the citizens. The Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim bin Yaqub al Hamar, received today the delegation of the Sustainable Development Directorate at the UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs, led by Sarah Stagwant. Prime Minister of Minister al Hamar affirmed that the government places great importance on social housing as one of the components of sustainable development, which the government aims to achieve based on the Sustainable Development Agenda for 2030. He also noted the Kingdom's interest to parallel its national plans and strategies that stern from Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 with the goals of of sustainable development. He stated that the Kingdom's economic vision is in line with the National Action Charter established by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, adding that the government has succeeded in integrating 78% of the vision's goals into its work plan for the years 2015 to 2018. Al Hamar added that the Ministry of Housing is keen on including the goals of sustainable development in all its housing projects. He reviewed the Kingdom's current projects, which include the construction of five housing cities, which are in line with the Royal Directives to build 40,000 housing units out of of which 25,000 had been constructed. He added that this allows for the participation of the private sector in the process. For its part, the delegation expressed admiration for the Kingdom's housing experience, stating that it will have a significant impact when presenting the Kingdom's first report to other countries. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held its regular meeting chaired by its Deputy President, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, where the Council submitted utmost signs of felicitation and best wishes to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the near advent of the holy month of Ramadan. In this session, the Council lauded the royal care, the Holy Quran reciters, and His Majesty's keenness to continually support them which is evident by His Majesty's patronage of Qur'an competition events, hailing in this regard the great success of the Via the Internet Bahrain International Holy Qur'an Recitation Contest. The Council reviewed the final preparations for the 23rd Bahrain Grand Holy Qur'an Contest, which is said to be held in the holy month of Ramadan. The Council also commended the directives of His Royal the Prime Minister to rebuild the Sheikh Qasim al mihza Mosque in Manama in a manner that preserves its historical and religious role. The Council also noted that under the patronage of the SCIA's President, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, the Aisha Um Al Mu'minin Grand Mosque will be opened in North Hajj and the Muhammad bin Yusuf Al Hassan in Bsaytin before the month of Ramadan. The Council reviewed the program of raising the scientific competence of teachers of the Ministry of Education in teaching the Holy Quran, which was worked out in partnership between the Council and the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Endowments and the Ministry of Education with the direct support of the Council. The SCIA Deputy President in the presence of the Council's members launched the new website. The Gulf Gateway Investment Forum will start tomorrow, bringing together 500 international investors to explore investment opportunities in the Kingdom and the GCC countries. The region's economic transformation and investment opportunities will be the highlight of the first Gateway Gulf in Bahrain this week under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Chairman of the Bahrain Economic Development Board, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The event, which will take place tomorrow until the 10th of May at the Four Seasons Hotel in Bahrain Bay, brings together over 500 global investors and business leaders to explore ways of unlocking the opportunities being created by the economic transformation in the GCC. 
The event provides a direct route into accessing the GCC market by showcasing major regional investment projects worth $18 billion, with projects in the planning phase driving up the value of the project pipeline to $26 billion. The event also offers an opportunity to match funding with large-scale infrastructure projects in Bahrain. Bahrain is also fast-tracking substantial public and private sector investment projects worth over $32 billion across the manufacturing, logistics, infrastructure, healthcare, education, and tourism sectors, supporting the kingdom's goal of long-term sustainable economic growth. The event will include high-level plenary sessions led by key business leaders across strategic growth sectors, including manufacturing, tourism, real estate and energy, and will address some of the key business issues currently facing the region as it opens up new investment opportunities to the private sector.